first and foremost, who could have knew? I mean, I thought they were going to get a Pawn Stars episode. That's what Charizard King said, a very reliable individual in the Pokemon community, very much beloved. That's what uh, Nick and Strength said. Hey, they're going to get a Pawn Stars, and they're going to blow up like Pokemon, like Pokemon, like Pokemon. Well, how many times have you heard this is like Pokemon? I, I, I said from the very beginning, you can look two years ago, there's no anime, there's no video game series, there's nothing here. There's no IP, right? Pokemon is probably going to sue Power World because they have IP. MetaZoo, I could make a game called MetaPoo, hire the exact same artist, and they couldn't do shit to get me. They, they literally couldn't do shit, man. Um, this was a pump and dump by Alpha Investments. He was selling this shit for $8,200. $8,200. 8200 He was in his mystery box. It was all MetaZoo. It was MetaZoo playmats. It was MetaZoo promos, right? If you have any... I mean, I still don't know why people would be buying from Alpha Investments at this point in time. I, I write you email after email about this is investment. Guys, invest in it. It's safe, right? With my promo in it, you guys are safe, foo. 6 9 You know Alpha Investments' name isn't even at Alpha Investments on YouTube. It's at Alpha Investments 6 9 He chose that name, so YouTube... The way that you chose your handle was the bigger channels got to choose their handles first. So instead of choosing Alpha Investments, he chose Alpha Investments 6 9 Like, 6 9 ain't working no more, man. Ain't working. It ain't selling the shit no more. MetaZoo is garbage. And now it's being taken out. I mean, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me be straight. Let me be straight with you. I have been against MetaZoo for a very long time. You can check my videos. And the one thing that really irked me about MetaZoo was just how many effing promos. How many effing promos this guy's got of himself. It got so bad that once his artist was let go, which he still hasn't acknowledged or thanked, he started making his own promos. He started. He he became the artist himself with his family, and yet his subscribers. Is, I mean, not, nobody realized. Whoa, this is probably a, a, a pumping them. This is a rug pull. This is a scam, guys. This is literally a dude in his basement drawing with his very very limited artistical skills, and all all the most. I mean. I know what's going to happen next. TCG Player is going to drop it from the... It's already really hard to find on TCG Player. Once TCG Player drops it... I, I think I just saw our Argos video about how incredible MetaZoo is doing. And in fact, let me read you the video title. I mean, isn't it something like MetaZoo to the moon? To the moon, baby? To the moon? Okay, let's see what's happening in MetaZoo's market. Oh, cards are going up. Things are going great. If you left MetaZoo, watch this. MetaZoo is not over. Here's why, says KBD.Tokyo. And he's got a pawn star. And he says, why I'm still buying. You guys, you guys, you can now buy at very low prices. I think a dude was attacking me and said I was some type of donkey. Who's that effing donkey now, my dude? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got MTG Unpack opening MetaZoo first edition wilderness. Hey, these people still don't know it, man. These still don't know it. It's a gone to zero, right? They have no idea it's gone to zero. <laughs> they have no idea the game is dead. <laughs> I mean, MetaZoo player, I mean, they're probably kind of slow, right? So it might take a few weeks. <laughs> Clearly, if you tell them, hey, we're going on Pawn Stars, but there's no, there's no film, there's no actual, you know, collection, there's, Mike will be on it, like, guys... That roadmap was BS. They knew. You don't bankrupt overnight. I hope, you know, I'm trying to explain basic business to MetaZoo people, so please bear with me. When a business decides to pull the plug, 
it's pulling the plug because it cannot get out. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. Right? But at this whole time, they were talking about roadmaps and paying the players and and pawn stars and I mean read read the, the effing comments. Market movers, right? Come back to MetaZoo. MetaZoo is not over. Here's why, all caps. What is next for MetaZoo? Collectible stonks. Stonks. Right? These are I mean, come on, man. What what are we even talking about? Shipping updates, legacy anniversary bundle. <laughs> no, you ain't getting shit, man, dogs. You ain't getting shit. MetaZoo is now sold at box launch. Okay. For how long? <laughs> For how long? Market watch. MetaZoo. <laughs> After these people. Man. man. MetaZoo just spoke for the last time, said Argos Anonymous, four weeks ago. Oh, yeah. They did. But it wasn't four weeks ago, my dude. It was now. Here you got MetaZoo shuts down their TikTok, Twitter, and Insta. <laughs> it's almost... Man. Man. You can't make this shit up, man. It's almost like they got caught for a crime or something. They're trying to erase all the information. <laughs> Guys... Why are they doing this? Why are they erasing everything, guys? <laughs> okay. Enough of the thing. Some of the MetaZoo people, they're very nice. I don't have any issue with them. Some of them call me a donkey. I think one of them called me a donkey or something. Here, Here's the problem, guys. You were always going to lose against me. I had time. I invest and stuff i know when a business is in trouble i own a business myself that is successful at one time it wasn't i understand the signs where uh oh this business is financially difficult artists are leaving they want like volunteer people alpha investments is making his own videos like you you see the sign they can't pay off twenty thousand dollars which solves a big pr problem for them for the dark towers or whatever the water tower, the dark, whatever the tower is. The fact that they can't pay off $20,000, but they're announcing they're going to pay out <laughs> is ridiculous to me. That's not how business works. I would never make a roadmap like they made. The first thing I would do is pay out the players if I had the money. And then in the roadmap, I say, hey, guys, we paid off the players. I want you guys to know we, we did it. I wouldn't make an announcement that I'm going to pay off the players for such a minimal amount of money. Nick and Strength is correct. It is a minimal amount of money. I can write that check in a heartbeat. My payroll is higher than that every month. So how can they not afford to pay the players? I, I don't get it. They won the tournament. You're legally obligated. You advertise. There's advertisements everywhere about how much they win. That's a big problem. The other big problem is Hello Kitty. No matter how much Argo says it's a good set and Alpha, it's not. The fact that eBay and TCG player had to cut it in half before delivery, losing money. That's all you need to know about the, the product. Like, what else do you need to know? It was on, people paid $300 for it. eBay felt so bad. eBay TCG player felt so bad for this that they refunded the people their money. Like, guys, that, that's not a sign of strength. That's a sign of very big weakness. If anything, I'm TCG and eBay. I don't want to see no more MetaZoo anywhere. I'm going to blacklist these guys. They effed it with my money. And you don't F with somebody's money. Unless you're Alpha Investments. All right. In conclusion... 100 likes on either this video or the other video, and I will go on live stream the same time Argos goes, which is 7 p.m. Central today. But my live stream won't be talking about how positive I am about the future of... My live stream will be me crunching bones and taking names. And there's plenty of blame to go around. Plenty of YouTubers. <laughs> I waited. I thought I would have to wait until at least end of 2024. But, hey, Chris, early Christmas present. 